Good morning from the capital of the Czech Republic and the former capital of the Kingdom of Bohemia, which apparently is, according to the internet, the fifth most visited and as such most touristic city in Europe, after London, Paris, Rome and Istanbul. I've been to all of the former cities, but not to this one. In fact, I've never been to the Czech Republic. I've arrived yesterday night, it's my first day in this country and in this famous European city. So, yeah, let's check out Prague, let's see what this very popular tourist hotspot has to offer. Let's check out Prague's most famous attractions today. Before we continue this adventure through this very interesting country and see what else the Czech Republic has to offer. We'll start today here at Old Town Square, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Check it out. I've got to admit it's flipping beautiful and it's super crowded with tourists. You've got French, English, German and Asian tourists everywhere here. You've got as many Asians, English speakers, French speakers here as you've got Czech people here. I don't like that too much, but come on. It's Europe's fifth most visited city, so yeah, must be for a reason. Let's check out the Czech capital. I haven't got too much time here in Prague. The journey continues tomorrow already, so yeah, with you guys today, we'll be checking out Prague's three most famous attractions. And here we've got the first one, check it out. The Prague Astronomical Clock, as it is called. Displaying the Twelve Apostles. And hordes of tourists taking the same picture. I'll tell you what, first impressions of Prague. It's a flipping beautiful city. Actually reminds me of a, yeah a German city or Austrian city. I mean, they've got a common history as being part of the Kingdom of Bohemia. It was the capital of the Kingdom of Bohemia. So they've got a common history with Germany and Austria and Hungary. And it actually reminds me of, of a German city. Check it out. It's flipping beautiful. I can understand why it's so popular. And yeah, I've never been here, so it's a pretty nice city, but also it's it seems to me, I don't want to speak too early, but it seems to me like it's yeah, suffering a bit from over-tourism. I mean, if you've seen the place right behind me, the astrono astronomical clock, or whatever it is called, I mean, the entire city is just crowded with tourists. I think in Eastern Europe, or Central Europe as they say here, here in the Czech Republic they say Central Europe, they don't like it when you say Eastern Europe, but I think in this part of Europe, it's even maybe the most expensive city I've been to. But yeah, it might be for a reason. The beautiful cobblestone streets of Old Town Prague. I haven't heard many locals in this area, in this part of town. Check it out here, we've got the beer museum. To all your beer lovers, Prague is obviously famous not only for its beautiful old town but also for its beer culture. That's another thing that the Czechs have in common with the Germans, their beer culture. Right ahead of us guys is probably Prague's and I reckon the Czech Republic's most famous site. One of Europe's most famous bridges. Charles Bridge, check it out. And look how crowded it is with tourists. Check it out. Well, basically this bridge here, this famous bridge, is connecting the old part of town in which we are currently with the new part of town.
and yeah, it's a wonderful city. First impressions, it's a beautiful city, one of the most impressive I've seen in the world, but also one of the most touristic. I mean, check out that bridge, how crowded it is with tourists. This bridge, Charles Bridge, is over 600 years old. Now, let's do what everyone that comes to Prague, literally everyone, 200% of people that have been to Prague or are from Prague, have already done. Let's cross it. Oh, wow. It is. Definitely one of the prettiest cities I have seen in my life. No doubt about it. Reminds me of Budapest and Vienna. Beautiful city, but a bit overcrowded with tourists. I don't want to paint a, neg a negative picture here of Prague. I don't want to say that it's overrated or something. I mean, check it out. Oh, it's definitely a bit, maybe a bit suffering from over tourism, if you can say that. And here we've got the Voltava. And tourists from all over the world, probably. Where? No one can say that the city is overcrowded with tourists for no reason. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Quite impressive. It also reminds me of Krakow, where I've been together already. It reminds me a lot of Krakow, but Krakow is a lot less crowded, I mean. And it's not even the high season yet. We're in May at time of recording, so it's not even the high, high season yet. I don't want to know how it is in the summer. I've been to many places in the world, um, especially Europe and Latin America. And I've seen most of Europe's top visited cities, I mean, in terms of tourism. I've seen most of Europe's most popular cities and this, honestly, is up there with the most crowded places, crowded in terms of, crowded with tourists that I've seen in Europe and the world. Might be the most touristic place, the most touristic city in Europe. And that might be the title of the video. Europe's most touristic city. We've got a weed shop in Prague. And another weed shop. Weed shops in cobblestone streets. Probably you'd only get that in Prague. Now Prague is a city which is full of history. It was part of the Kingdom of Bohemia, it was the capital of the Kingdom of Bohemia. Then became an important city in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Then it became the capital of Czechoslovakia during the post-World War II era. And obviously was part of the communist world of Europe. And then after the collapse of the Soviet Union, a few years later, they separated from Slovakia and it became the capital again of the Czech Republic, which exists today. In 2004, they joined the EU and the Western Bloc. And despite being part of Europe's communist era after World War II, the Czechs don't really seem to connect with Eastern Europe. They connect with Western Europe. Despite their language being Slavic, quite similar to Polish and to Slovakian, obviously, not at all similar to German, they feel closer to the Germans than they feel to 
fellow Eastern Europeans. They also don't like when you say Eastern Europeans here. They call themselves Central Europeans. We're now approaching the final of the three most famous and most popular attractions of Prague and of Czechia, probably. In stark contrast to other Eastern European nations here in the Czech Republic, you can drink in public. Check it out. Here you got cocktails to go. You can sip, sip your cocktail on the go in the street. Something which you can't do officially, legally, in Poland, for instance. Now, if you are looking for the best spots in Prague, for the best, best viewpoints over Prague, just follow the hordes. Well, it's flipping beautiful though, in it. Well, I don't want to moan too much, but as you can tell, I don't like places that are overcrowded with tourists, well, wherever it is in the world. And this is up there with the most touristic places I have seen in the world. It's a beautiful city, no doubt about it, worth visiting. I've only spent a few hours here. I've arrived yesterday night, so yeah, I spent half a day here and it's a beautiful place. Well, it's so overcrowded. I mean, see for yourself. It just makes you not enjoy it anymore. It takes away the joy of exploring a place. So yeah, despite Prague being super pretty, I am looking forward to seeing another part of the Czech Republic. Yeah, probably the most famous attraction of Prague and of Czechia, which is, as you can see, boy, the halls of tourists here, the castle, Prague Castle, which of course has been renovated many, many times, but has survived many wars, two world wars in particular. Oh well. You probably know what, what I mean. Beautiful place, but yeah. When you come to Prague, which you should, I reckon, you should come at a time when they are, it is less crowded because it's a bit too crowded for my liking. This is hands down, hands down, the most touristic place I've ever been to in Europe. <laughs> it is impressive. Check it out. But it is, without a shadow of a doubt, also the most crowded city I've been to in Europe. So when you come to Prague, I reckon you should come in the least touristic period of the year, probably in winter. Because I reckon it's not enjoyable when you're surrounded by millions of tourists. I need to get out of here. So let's finish the video and this exploration of Prague. I mean, we've seen the three most famous and most popular attractions of Prague today. And you can tell by the hordes of tourists from all over the world here, how popular it is. So now we've got to get out of here and finish this video with a beer. I think we've deserved it. Let's go. Right guys, I'm now about to end this video with one of the Czech Republic's most famous attractions, Pilsen beer. Delicious Pilsen beer. So, cheers to you guys for watching and cheers to the Czech Republic. Prague is a beautiful city, but definitely a bit over-touristy for my liking. But still, I mean, if you don't come during 
the high season, then you probably have a great time here. So, cheers to Prague, and I'll see you guys in the next video when we'll explore another side of Czechia. Let's see what else this country has to offer apart from Prague and tasty beer. See you in a bit, guys.